This is a Remix Mini, the world's first true Android PC, as the manufacturer claims. This time I got a full set. This little black thing inside was created and sold cheaply enough to demonstrate another development of Jide, Remix OS, designed to bring together the Android app ecosystem and the PC productivity features we are used to, so we need to understand that we are dealing with $70 mini computer from 2015, which is very, very budget friendly for that time. It was the price for 2GB version because there was also 1GB version, but it was bad even at that times. For the revolutionaries, that will shape tomorrow. Fortunately or not, it didn't. What else do we have in this box? Of course, it's power adapter and HDMI cable. I mean, very, very, very short HDMI cable. By the way, about the power adapter, it's only 5 volts, which means that our thing is very power efficient or weak. Of course, there are some papers, oh god, I love these papers, but I don't think that you do, that's why we're skipping this part and coming to launching this thing. Well, Remix OS looks like Windows merged with Android. I can't resist including this quote from their Kickstarter trailer here. Less power, more performance. Less windows, more apps. I found it very hilarious, but let's check its technical specification first. And that's where my smile fell. We have four, let's say, budget-friendly cores running on 1.34 GHz frequency. Its GPU is also very budget-friendly, and we have 2 GB of DDR3 RAM, which is of course not upgradable, and all of that information could also be found under the box. Before we will test some games like Minecraft or Subway Surf, I would like to launch YouTube and… Uh, where is the YouTube app? YouTube kits exist in the play market and works more or less fine, but where is the normal YouTube? YouTube's website, which you can access through a browser, works awful, because it's too heavy for this hardware. I also forgot to say that I'm using the capture card, so the recording does not affect the performance. I will not waste your time, I tried to install the old version of YouTube, the normal version of YouTube, nothing worked. But let's test it in games and here the situation is very weird. Menu is very laggy, it took me 2 minutes to start creating the world and 7 more minutes to create the world itself, but at all game runs at 11 to 15 FPS, which is much more than I expected. After lowering graphical settings, we see that our FPS increased a little. I still cannot call these conditions playable, but Dell from the previous video showed less FPS, uh, but it was first cheaper and the second it was Java version. Later we will try to lower the resolution and we will come back to Minecraft, but now let's try Subway Surf. And here is why I call the results of this testing weird, because Subway Surf is logging. How is this even possible? I actually have two theories. First is that the particles are too heavy for this machine, but that is weird. And the second is that this machine has very slow storage. Because even Subway Surf, which was supposed to be launched instantly, was launching for around 30 seconds. Which is insane in my opinion, and also Minecraft has problems with loading chunks, but that may be due to the CPU. Ok, let's lower the resolution to HD and see if anything changes. Looking at this, I actually wanna say that this system would look very interesting on CRT monitor. Let's try Subway Surf, and here we can see that, despite of the fact our performance increased, we see more frames per second, but it's still lagging. It's more playable right now, much more playable, and even in Minecraft we are sometimes hitting 30 frames per second, incredible. But something still does not allow this machine to load chunks. What is it? A big question. Write in the comments if you know what is the problem, and I guess here our meeting with this machine is coming to the end. At its time where its cost was only $70 for a new machine and the internet was much lighter, it had reasons to exist, but now I don't even know what modern tasks can it be used for. In one of the trailers they showed that you can play with controller in some light games, but today we were not even able to play Subway Surf. Of course, maybe that was unlucky version of the Subway Surf, uh, and maybe the games like Angry Birds will be playable. But unfortunately we are not living in 2015. Although my viewers are very creative and I'm sure you will find a couple of ways to use this thing even today. Leave likes under this video and your comments, subscribe to this channel and thank you for watching, goodbye.